Hi guys, Dravo here, and in today's video we are going to be doing uh, a Train Simple 2 scenario. Um, so, I'm thinking of doing this scenario, Loose Connection, and it says, Do your best to keep time when a train fault occurs mid-journey. Uh, so, this does seem pretty interesting, so let's just go for it, I guess. I haven't played this before, so um, this will be my first impression of this scenario. But yeah, this should be quite fun. Alright, uh, welcome to Eastburn. The duty today is operate a semi-fast service to Brighton, climb aboard and prepare for departure. Okay, sounds simple enough. Alright, let's turn the tail lights on first of all. That's what we're here. Uh, tail lights can go on auto. Alright. Is this... Yeah, this is my train. Okay, I was going to say I'm messing with someone else's train. Alright, let's run to the other side, and hopefully this should all go well. I mean, I know there's going to be a fault because of the scenario description, but hopefully we can deal with it and it won't be too bad. So once again, we are going to uh, Louise, Louise, I have no idea, but I'll need to set up the information somehow. Was it Brighton? Hold on. Uh, semi-fast semi service to Brighton. Yes. Let's close the door. Uh, open this up. Open this. And let's take a seat. We can turn on this light. And let me put this on. Forward. And let's set up the PIS. So it will be... Right turn. Okay, confirm. Alright, uh, okay. Let's open the doors. You can hear them doing their thing in the background. And, yeah, okay. Uh, we can go back to the door display. And we can also turn on... Actually, I want to close this first. I think I need to open this. Sit back down. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, so hopefully this should be quite interesting. We can even close that because we're not going to be using that anyway. Um, and yeah, oh, we can lock the doors. The signal is still red, but that's fine. Let me turn on the cab light. That's better. Oh, the signal has turned green, so we can be on our way. Let's set up the speed set thing. That will hold our speed for us. There we go. And this should be good. Oh, uh, we can also turn on the wipers if I can find how to do that. There we go. They can go on slow. What about this setting? Oh, no. Yeah, they'll be on slow, it's fine. And, yeah, let's take a look outside. This is quite loud. Let's just turn this down a tiny bit. Very nice. Alright, yeah, Brighton uh, is where we're headed. That's showing correctly. I love how there's water on the destination display as well. And, yeah, it looks quite good. Oh, I didn't turn on the headlights. I should probably do that. Day running. Okay, yeah, that looks good enough. And, yeah, oh, there's a train wash there. And, oh, we can actually speed up. Let's just give it full power. We've got approximately two minutes. to One minute and, like, twenty. No maths um oh and i went fast but we've got approximately two minutes to get to the next stop which is 1.3 miles away so that's not too bad and yeah let's take another look outside looks quite nice to be honest let's go into yeah looks quite decent this is on the ultra preset so it's the highest you can go and yeah it doesn't look bad at all the scenery is nice and yeah actually that reminds me 
To make this a little bit more realistic, let's turn all of these on. DRA, yeah, okay. Now we have the AWS and everything else. And so, oh, hold on, we are approaching a station. I'd really want to get like a power brake controller, like a physical controller that I can actually hold in real life because it would be much easier to drive. But yeah, anyway, we are approaching Hampton Park quite fast. So let's really put on the brakes. Hopefully we don't overshoot, but it's looking okay. Yeah, we should be fine. We are getting a little bit of wheel slip, but that's to be expected because it is raining and the tracks are wet. All right, let's release the doors. Let's close the window because it's going to be cold. Uh, actually, let's turn up the temperature. Let's not put it on max because we don't want to boil. But let's just put it on like 49% and then full heat, floor, Let's just put it on temperature. Okay, let's get ready to close the doors. Oh, I closed them a bit too early. Reopen them. Are they still open? Is this lock doors? Oh, okay, never mind. Let's depart. Let's take a look at this signage over here. Stop, look, listen, be aware of trains. Ah, oh, these are actually flashing, that's really cool. That looks cool if it wasn't moving all the time. Okay, let's just give it full power and let's set the speed. Oh, we we have some wheel slip. Oh. Okay, there we go. And yeah. Hopefully, if we don't touch anything for a while, then the train should start beeping at us, checking if we're still alive. And also, if this is like, I don't know, if you're driving at night and you've got all the lights off, you can also turn this display off in the cab so it's not like blinding you. But we're in the daytime, so that's fine. There's a really squeaky blind as well, so if you don't like squeaky noises, I recommend turning your sound off for a little bit. Ouch. This one's not that bad. I love how they've even animated like the little clip holder thing where it like clips on. But let's just stop with the sounds because quite frankly they are probably very loud. All right, anyway, uh, let's take a look or not. Let's take another look out. Oh, it's beeping. Checking if I'm still alive, which I very much am. We can increase the speed. Oh, AWS. Why was that happening? Oh, because there's going to be a speed limit drop to 35. So I'm going to start slowing down. I don't know where this drop in the speed limit is. But it should be somewhere here. So I can start slowing down just in case. I know that a train driver in real life would know the route very, very well, but this is the first time I'm driving it, so I have no idea where the speed limit is actually going to change, so this is a bit not realistic, but that's fine. So yeah, um, oh, here, here, here is the speed limit, oops. Anyway, uh, yeah, earlier today, actually it will probably ye be yesterday, when you're watching this or when this video is uploaded i uploaded a video something similar to this but without my voice in and people wanted people were saying like this is cool but it would be much more fun to watch if there was commentary so this is more of a trial video because i'd say it would also be quite a bit more fun with commentary because yeah it gives you something to listen to rather than just train sounds but yeah, another thing that I like about these trains is this thing. You can set your train length so it reminds you how many cars you have, which tells, which lets you know where to stop. 
if you look at like the car markers over there it says two to ten so we should stop here and then you've got 12 over there all right uh let's open the doors and also let's take a look at how that's not a bad stock at all pretty good brighton yes oh excuse me you just pushed me how rude let's get back in all right while we wait let's take a look out here there's so many like different things that you can interact with and it just all overlaps each other making it a real pain to operate all right close this don't want people coming in you can also do this and just enjoy yourself if you really want to hopefully there will be either a multiplayer mod or somehow that you'll be able to play multiplayer because it would be really fun having like a friend sitting here and yeah let's see okay let's just flip that back up and okay wait until oh we still have like another minute so we can go outside for a little bit yeah another thing that i've noticed is these people dress the same for every weather situation like whether it's raining or it's sunny or it's literally minus 20 these people are still dressed in the exact same way which is a bit strange but oh fair enough um i don't know how i was randomly carrying around a ticket machine but sure and yeah but i guess it's fine oh you can't go past there oh i added a route map by accident actually let's take a look at that actually hold on the, the time's about to run out and we don't want to be late excuse me okay close the doors okay let's sit down okay it appears head down a door didn't close what oh yeah because th there's meant to be a failure excuse me go and see if i can do it manually where's the broken door Head down. What? This door is. Oh, it's not this door. Okay, that one closes. Ah, it's that one over there. Alright, let's see what the problem is, shall we? We'll probably just be having to open and close it again. Manually close the 40. Wow! Continue the service and try and make up lost time. Oh no. Okay. Um. Well then. Classic British railway stuff right there. Move! I'm already late. Remove yourselves, please. The door just being broken. Okay. Now we gotta go fast. It didn't actually indicate as a fault. It just said open which is quite weird oh hold on that's not good we're gonna have to go at the speed limit pretty much at all times to attempt to at least make up some lost time for that because we wasted like a minute or two trying to fix that door i don't know if in real life you'd just be able to walk up to the door and just close it like that i think you just need to open and close and open and close it until yeah but oh well i mean it's fine now so not too much of an issue oh this is interesting oh i can't read it can i read it through like the window electric shock emergency action switch off power call for assistance if power cannot be switched off, push or pull. Okay, you know what? This is really annoying. Can I like go through here? No? Okay. Let's close that. Don't want the rain getting in. I love how everything is modelled. Like, this wire actually stretches. So does this. Really, really cool. 
You can also like couple and uncouple these trains. Ah! It's beeping at me. It's all really well modelled and the dirt as well makes it look so much more real. Even the headlights look really, really good. You can tell that a lot of reference images have gone into this. You've got the battery isolator. Obviously you can't change anything with that but still quite cool. You've got all the wheels. We've got two minutes to travel two miles. Anything is possible, right? You've got like these hoses. What does this say? It literally even has the warning signs. Isolate supply and wait. Yeah. As you can tell, this is super, super. Oh, level crossing. Uh, super, super realistic. You've got the third rail shoes. It's beeping at me once again because it thinks I'm dead. Uh, and yeah, this is just pretty accurate. You've got the cameras here. And yeah, it's just really, it's just weird to think that so much effort has gone into this. And yeah, as you can see, you've got the coupler there. You can't read that, but that's something. You can't open the door either, which is probably quite good. Anyway, all right, let, as we're back in the, oh, that station is approaching very, very quickly. Okay, let's start braking. I'm gonna try and, oh my, nope, we're gonna overshoot. Oh my goodness. Put it into a margin, oh no. No way. No, we're not stopping. Ah. Uh, hopefully at least one door opens. Oh my goodness, that was a massive overshoot. I was not focusing at all. Uh, welcome to whatever the station is. Let's just go and manually close the doors that opened when they shouldn't have. Hold on, does this actually like... It does! That is so cool. Let's take a look at this. If you press the close button, or actually close, hello. Okay, there we go. Look at this. It actually changes, that's so cool. We were actually early, although we did overshoot like massively. Uh, this door is fine, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Why is this cracked? It's a bit dangerous, but oh well. Why did the train just make a hissing sound? Oh, another train. Oops. Uh. Oopsies. Can we just like close this door? Okay, there we go. Let's go back through. Back to our cab. It wants us to lock the doors now. Okay, let's sit down. Close the doors, please. Okay, there we go. The button's lit up, which means we have interlock status. Yes. Um, how many more stops do we have? We only have one more stop, apparently. Okay. This route is actually quite nice. I mean, this scenario, sorry. Okay, 90. Uh, let's set this up, it will change to 90 in just a moment anyway, give it full power now, as we're going quite fast, and yeah, this is all very very cool to be honest, can I get up without it like, dying, what does this say, electric shock emergency action, oh it tells you how to fix someone, okay that's nice, always handy, anyway, what else can we play with? <laughs> we can, can we do that with that one? Yes. How nice. 
we can't open the door mi mid flight mid um driving but that's probably a good thing what does this do i'm not gonna click it in case it like kills the train oh let's sound our horn because there's a crossing though it is a level crossing let's listen to the horn for some reason the low tone is so much quieter i mean the high tone not the low tone oh there's another crossing i've noticed there's a bunch of foot crossings on this line I've, i don't think i've ever been on a southern train so yeah i don't really have anything to compare i can't really compare it to real life but it still looks really really realistic nonetheless as in like what i'd expect to find there uh oh in slippery condi how far are we oh two miles that's fine slippery conditions pull away in notch one uh up to five miles an hour before selecting a higher notch if um if slip is noted depress the traction oh this is actually quite helpful if no change is noted uh okay well that's quite interesting where's the sandy but sandy but the sander button i'm gonna try that one day or may actually no because the next stop is our terminus oh well we'll try it uh oh why have the wipers just d turned off hello ah okay that always gets me oh my goodness we need to slow down we are speeding but it's fine okay there we go nice and set okay we still have two minutes to get up to our destination oh crossing and also I should probably start slowing down because we are approaching the station I don't really want to overrun like last time because that was very embarrassing okay now let's really start slowing down notch three Oh, it wants us to sand. Oh, it actually worked. Never mind, it didn't. Okay, but we've slowed down way too early. I was too interested in pressing the sand button. I don't know if these trains actually have whistles in real life. But that's interesting. And also, there's... Uh, signal bell sounds quite nice all right we have arrived at our destination I'm pretty sure it says Brighton but it says it's ending here so I don't actually know but yeah we shall see what the game tells us to do oh, there are some nice thingies here overall this looks really really good got the emergency brake are we going further than this or is it just telling us to wait or we can just go out and explore for a little bit to be honest because we've still got over a minute left so we don't really need to rush that much as the train is like literally over there anyway is there anything I can do can't go under oh yeah I can. Um can I like do something? What's that? Oh that's interesting. Anyway, you can't go in here. <laughs> um oh there's a camera. Nice. The stations look really good as well. Oh the train is like is like leaning over. There's like hardly any gap now. Oh, it's asking us to lock the doors. Oh, there's another train. Okay, uh, lock the doors. Take a seat as well. Okay. 
Oh, it's making us go further. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's get a nice shot of this. Take a screenshot as well. This looks so nice. Oh, hello there. A passenger enjoying their ride. Uh, anyway. Let's... What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Plonk this on. We can give it full power. Oh, this looks so... What? Uh, okay. It seems that the cab door is opened. Let's just close that. Don't know how that happened, but sure. This looks so nice. Another screenshot. Oh! Don't know what just happened there, but we are back. Um, the game just started breaking after me attempting to take a screenshot. But yes, let's take a few. I'm not speeding, so that should be fine. Uh, let's go into this view. Some nice British weather. Always nice. Oh, they're repairing the bridge. That would look nice. Oh, gotta press the pedal. Foot crossing or some sort of crossing. This looks so good. Let's make sure. No, I'm not speeding, so I'm still 1.5 miles out, so should be fine. I I just love taking screenshots in these sort of games, like train simulators and stuff. They look so good. Oh my, I forgot to turn off Steam DMs. <laughs> Golden Squid is DMing me. How pog is your driver? Oh, on a scale of 1 to 10. Well, Squid, if you're ever watching this, oh my goodness. It is obviously 10 out of 10. But yes, I'll reply to that later. Anyway, oh, it says we'll need to slow down to like very slow. So we should probably start doing that. Let's also, I don't know why the wiper has broken, but you know, it's a British train, everything breaks on these, so probably shouldn't be surprised. Always late, always broken. Nothing new there. Anyway, okay, we have a yellow signal. I don't know why I zoomed in that much, but I did, so nice. Um, I don't- I think we're going to Brighton after this. I don't know though. Oh, let's slow down. Oops. Speeding by quite a bit, but that's fine. I thought we were going to terminate early, but I guess as the door is working again, there wouldn't really be a point to that causing more delays than necessary yeah I don't know why the wiper's broken um, but I guess it's fine all right let's turn this down all the way oh beeping at me no okay we don't want it to start emergency braking I'm a bit scared of approaching the signal in case I go past it and it like says scenario failure signal past it danger but the thing is only over there so should be fine is it bruh okay and it wants me to pull up even more we're already a little late but oh well okay are you happy now game okay uh, we'll be- oh, okay, that's actually- okay. Uh, yeah guys, the train's broken. Let's just open the doors for you, if they actually work. Yeah, everyone, please get off. This train is broken. Let's take it out of service. On the thingy. Up, up, up. Confirm. Exit. 
Okay, it should now be showing not in service. Yes. Okay. Okay, everyone, the train's broken. How sad. All right. Okay, this wasn't that bad. And I got two achievements. Shut that door and situational awareness. And a gold medal. Well, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you did enjoy uh, this new style of video. If you did, then make sure to let me know and I'll do more. And apart from that, um, thanks for watching. And I guess, bye for now.